In today's video, we are discussing the five best practices that every YouTuber must do before filming their videos in order to see success. I'm actually starting a series called Best Practices because I believe it is the small things that we do every day that make the biggest difference and that are going to bring us success. So there are just some simple things you can do before you start filming your video, while you're filming your video, after filming your video, that if you do them consistently over time, you are going to see massive, massive growth. And even some things that you should do daily as a YouTuber and as a content creator to see fantastic results. And who am I to talk about this thing? My name is Susie and on this channel I am passionate about increasing your influence and your income on YouTube so that you can also see massive success. I do have another YouTube channel where I've amassed more than 100,000 subscribers that's making me steady income every month and I am delighted to share this with you. Just the tips and the tricks that I've picked up along the way. And if this is something that you think could help you in your journey, remember to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss any of the fantastic tips that I will be sharing on this channel. Now let's go to the number one best practice that you need to do before you start filming your video. The number one best practice before you start filming your video is you must research your topic. Guys, this might be a no-brainer but it needs to be said. Let me tell you, in this day and age of information, People can tell when you're bluffing. People can tell when you're just pulling numbers and figures and information out of thin air. And people will cross check to see whether you are saying, see whether what you are saying is actually true and factual and that they can actually rely on your information. So the last thing you want is for someone to come and start correcting you in the comments. No, you are wrong. Or, oh, you know, it is not actually this, it is this. And that has happened to me. A few times, okay? <laughs> yes, we all make mistakes, but it is very important for you to gain credibility with your audience to actually, you know, you need to look like you actually know what you're talking about. And researching is a very, very important part of your YouTube journey. You need to be willing to put in hours, sometimes even days, just going through your topic and being, the more thorough you are, imagine, the better your content is going to be. And people will be able to trust you, to know that you are a credible source of information and they'll be able to just, you know, they'll be willing to refer you to other people and they'll be willing to come back to watch more and more of your content, all right? So remember to do your research and not just on your topic, but even on your avatar as i shared in the previous video do your research on what do your viewers like what they don't like what kind of presentation works for them and all that it is so important i cannot overstate this do your research show up prepared okay because failure to plan is planning to fail everybody knows that so before you start filming any video please make sure you do your homework okay show up like a well-read and sophisticated person who knows what they are talking about because this will give you authority and you want to be seen as someone who has authority on the topic they are sharing about. You want that. Trust me, you want to be the voice of authority when your audience thinks about a particular topic. Not the voice of lies or the voice of making things up. Number two is pick your title. Guys, this might sound like a very simple step, but you before you even start filming, you need to know this is going to be the title of my video. It might be a small thing, but it makes such a big difference. In the book Compound Effect, the author writes that small, smart choices plus consistency plus time is equal to radical difference. These small, small things, if you make sure you do them before you start filming your video, they might seem like a little, but over time and with consistency, they will make such a radical difference in your channel. Your mind will be blown. Trust me. So sit down and ask yourself, what is the title of this video going to be? Script it, write it, tweak it, do everything you need to do. And also because in the first five seconds of your video, you need to actually say, Welcome to this video today. We're talking about ABCD and that the first thing you say need to correspond and need to be very similar to what your title is. So you see why you need to know what your title is. Otherwise, Google listens. Guys, the algorithm, the YouTube algorithm actually listens to what you say the first 30 seconds of your video and checks whether it corresponds to the title that you have put down there. Okay, so if your title is the best goat meat you have ever had in your life, then please, the first 
30 seconds of your video please make sure you say something such as in today's video i'm going to teach you how to make the best goat meat you have ever had in your life so that google knows that your title is not clickbait and that is actually what your video is about so sit down and write this is what the title is going to be word for word make sure it is catchy make sure it is brings curiosity make sure it is not clickbait please but it has to be written down and confirmed that yes this this is my title does that make sense if it makes sense remember to hit the subscribe button and to give this video a thumbs up because this will help that channel to grow thank you best practice number three is pick your thumbnail yes before you even say action and start filming your video know what your thumbnail is going to be design your thumbnail because the most important part of that video will be your thumbnail it is what people see it is what will draw people to your video you can have the best video in the entire universe but if your thumbnail is not on point nobody will ever know that it was the, the best video in the world because nobody is going to watch it i used to be those people <laughs> ah, ignorance i used to be one of those people who would just take a screenshot of just some part of the video and I'm like, okay, that's the thumbnail. My gosh. The day I started actually sitting down and crafting my thumbnail, I started seeing massive, massive results. Like I would sit down and go like, okay, I'm doing a video on X. So what is the thumbnail going to be? What clothes am I going to be wearing? What are going to be the colors? What do I want to show? What do I want to write? Research on the thumbnail, design it. In fact, have like one, two, three types mean different thumbnails and make sure you pick the best ask a few people okay which one do you think is the best thumbnail which one corresponds and all that jazz because that makes such a big difference and also one thing i do is i go and i search that topic on youtube i actually say okay let's go with goat meat best goat meat ever I search that on YouTube and then I see which videos YouTube recommends to me under best goat meat ever and then I rank them based on popular the one that has the highest views and then I look at those thumbnails and I'm like okay these videos have high views because the thumbnail look the thumbnails look like ABC and then from that I don't copy I get my inspiration and then I, I learn okay this maybe it's is it because of the color is it because of the what is showing is it because the goat meat is up close like this or is it because someone is holding the goat meat with a smile you see all that needs to be taken into account as you are designing your thumbnail and that has to be done before if you cannot come up with a nice thumbnail for that video you might as well not do it honestly because nobody's going to watch it because nobody's going to click on it because your thumbnail is not attracting them I hope that makes sense that is so important before you even say action make sure you have a thumbnail and a title best practice number four is script your video yes don't just wing it please people can tell when you have just winged your way through an entire video just you know just shooting just because you know even if it is a vlog ask me how i know okay even if it is a vlog it is very important to sit down and write what is going to lead to what this leads to this because storytelling guys I'm actually in at a point in my YouTube journey where I'm doing a deep dive on storytelling and how to become a better storyteller. Please stay tuned because I want to be the expert on how to tell stories on video because it makes such a big difference. It makes such a big difference on whether somebody is going to watch your video to the end or not, whether they're going to come back. It is an act, okay? And I am, I'm, I'm doing a deep dive. But at the end of the day, you need to have a script, even if it is a talking video like this. You don't necessarily have to write down every word, but you need to know this point leads to this point leads to this point leads to this point. That way, your video flows. That way, you, you sound organized. That way, people can be point one to point two to point three to point four and you actually come across as a better orator and as someone who is able to put their points across in a in a better way let's say in a more understandable and comprehensible way and this is very good for your video so make sure you script write down so this leads to this and then this and even the b-roll write down okay here we'll put b-roll for this here we'll put b-roll for this do your work be prepared because that will show up in your video people will tell whether you are prepared for this or whether you are just winging guys i used to make all the <laughs> i just made a video recently about mistakes that i used to make that have cost me dearly 
watch that video because my gosh and say have a moment of silence for me but i have learned and i want you to do better than i did so please script your videos before you start filming please guys i know this might sound like small things but i beg you listen to me it is these small things done over a long period of time that will make an astronomical difference in compound effect it also states that it is not the big things that add up in the end it's the hundreds thousands of mil or millions of little things that separate the ordinary from the extraordinary small things just make it a habit to do these things before you film even one video make sure just by the way i'm going to put a, a printable and free download for you in this video where i'm going to put a checklist and i'm going to keep increasing it as we go through this series so make sure you watch all the four videos in this series to get the free downloadable checklist because just make sure before you start filming you're ticking okay i've done my research okay i have my thumbnail i have my title and all that and this becomes a habit over time and let me assure you you are going to thank me six months down the line one year down the line remember it takes time okay small changes consistency plus time is equals to a radical difference it takes time but over time as these habits become part of you you will not believe how these small things make such a big difference all right so yeah i just want to put that out there they might be simple but please they are very very important now the fifth best practice you need to do before you start filming is to choose the video that you want your viewer to watch next why because we want to build a binge session okay we want the viewer to watch not just one of your video and then move on to whichever video youtube suggests to them next but we want them to stay on your channel and to watch more and more of your videos so it is always very important at the end to know okay when this person finishes this video i want them to watch this video next and after that video you'll have already put another video for them to watch so they keep watching and watching and this increases your watch time on youtube and youtube will love you and they will reward you with more views and more money and you will be very happy okay so very important make sure you know what video you want your viewer to watch next and write it down before you even start filming my friend guys there's a quote that says never ask advice from someone with whom you wouldn't want to trade places okay so yes i'm just telling you all this because i have been through this and i have done these best practices and i have seen results in fact i've done an entire video written 10 things that i did to grow my channel from zero to 100,000 subscribers that i think you should watch next so that you can see how i actually put these points into practice and so significant success on my youtube channel so i'll see you over there